guys. Thank you for uh, hanging with Connor and also hanging out with Bone Crusher 89, aka my cousin. They rock. So, in today's video, we are going to be explaining to you guys things that you. Did you fart? No. Okay, sorry. Things that you. Uh, things that you guys don't know about us. Um. You only know the things that we show you on the, on our channels, but we're gonna tell some stories and stuff about us that you guys don't know about. Does that sound good? That sounds good to me, Con. All right. So, as you can tell, my name is in. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but my name is in my uh, channel. My channel name, Hanging with Connor. Connor, that's my name. Uh, I am 18 years old. I look like I'm 15, but I'm 18 years old, and, um, I live on Earth, like every other human, oh, except serious. for Jesus everybody, everybody, and angels. Everybody knows that. Um, favorite color is blue, because I like blue skies and blue oceans and everything. Um, my favorite favorite drink i think my favorite drink is root beer favorite pop pop is root beer yeah, yeah. my favorite pop is root beer yeah and um <laughs> okay, okay all right all right this is serious sorry i think the first thing we should talk about is you may think everybody has a good you know life like us mm -hmm. but our life hasn't always been easy you mm -hmm. want to tell them something uh well Life is not easy. That basically means that you or the world is trying to challenge you to some things. That yeah, basically things yeah. don't make things get hard. Yeah, and they're not part of your comfort zone. So And so you don't like them. No. And we just want you to sprout out and try other things that you're not used to. Most people don't like change, like a new routine. If you know how to do a certain routine all your life, and then you got a new routine, that's hard to do because you got to maintain it. Um, you know, on a quick note, just just to clear it up, like he said, he's eighteen. I know I might look like I'm, you know, I don't know if it's a beard or something. I may look like I'm nineteen or twenty. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 seventeen, so I just wanted to clear that up. Yeah. Um, and, this is a, and there's an issue we should talk about. People in schools that commit suicide and how it's not a good or it's a good answer. Yeah. You want like, to um, Basic, Basically... Hold on, I just don't understand, like, why people think suicide is just the most best option. I mean, it is... It, what it is, is it's a permanent solution... For a temporary problem. Like a temporary problem such as anxiety, depression, things that could be temporary. And suicide is just what happens. And I don't know if you know this, but at my school, we've already lost two people mm -hmm. to suicide. One last year and one this year. And one of them, I happen to know. It was a girl and I happen to know her. And felt hard knowing she was gone. What was her name? Lindsay. Oh. She was a very good person. I'm not going to say her last name because, you know, yeah. don't want to reveal too much, but she was a good person. I knew her. Um, and you want to say something about yeah. why suicide is not a thing? What, what did you say? Say something about, you want to say something? Um, uh, um what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, um... Gosh, I am so sorry. I cannot think right now. Uh, oh yeah, uh, basically every school gets like these num like these suicide hotline phone numbers to call, right? Exactly. Do you get cards? Yeah. yeah. Um, at my school, the suicide hotline is also the suicide call line is also on the back of our IDs, yeah. and that is there for a reason. If you know somebody is going to commit suicide, or you 
in your school were going to commit suicide, they would, should call that number. It could help yeah. them before it's too late. But here's the thing. Like, there's people that know other people that are gonna they're going to commit suicide. And they do people, nothing. Yes. They have the number, and then they don't call it. They're just like, oh, he or she or... She, she's you're not gonna really do it and then the next day they find out their best friend killed themselves okay and that is basically your fault for not if getting a hold of emergency services yeah suicide has happened all over the world and there are multiple types mm -hmm. i mean medical suicide but there but i believe i mean i actually heard that some people i've heard Suicide. There, some people. I don't know the statistics of what has happened mm. at our at our school of how they died, but however they died, I mean, it's it's really tragic, especially for the families who and their friends, especially friends and people at the school who knew them, like how I, I knew Lindsay, and how you have to deal with the fact that that person you're never going to see again. Until, well, if you maybe in heaven. Yeah, you make the right decision, and then you pass away and see. Yeah, what but sometimes suicide can have a bad effect, yes. such as if it was your best friend who committed suicide, it could affect that person to eventually commit suicide themselves because they. It's, yeah, it could be like a chain reaction. And like your best friend died, that gives you depression, which makes you die, which gives another person depression, and, and so on and so yes. on and so forth. And I happen, I happen to know that my principal in my school was had a good relationship with the first kid to commit suicide, and he got through it. But then the second person committed suicide, and well, like when, like this this year, this year, at school, and you know, and my pr principal, who I've been there for three years already, he was willing to. He was this close from wanting to just retire get out of there he couldn't be a principal anymore but he went to counseling so if you feel depressed in this you should go to counseling when people say it can help such as a couple of years ago um our school liaison was out directing traffic and a car come speeding by and hit him and he flew in the air i don't know they did he was directing traffic and they just Hit the, and I and the hardest wait, part wait, for the high school. Yeah, he was a liaison. Dumb driver. Yeah, but he just hit him. And the worst part was, Con, is I knew this guy. His name was Deputy Hack, and I was good friends with him. I always knew him. He was a good officer, and he got hit, and he flew in the air like a. I just want from people say threw flew in the air like a rag doll and hit the cement, and he was, and he was on the ground bleeding. And the worst part was, my principal who knew him well what saw the whole thing happen he was actually driving the school did they get on video no but he remembers it and it was and it was sad and we all miss deputy hack and we don't even and that was three a couple of years ago and he's still not been back no but he it, was strong he showed up at one of our our you know pep assemblies all healed and all that and he asked the guy right there if his job was still available he wants to come back he's he was a good guy at the school. He 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 likes making relationships with kids and you know, having you know, showing them that this is kind of a thing. Yeah. This is never a way out. Mm -hmm. Suicide and people. I mean, it can go wrong. I mean, death always seems like an easy way. People. I mean, there are people who can't take it anymore and decide to tie something around their neck, tie it to a high place, and just put the thing under and snap their neck, and this it's over. But I mean, yeah. but I mean. What is, but they don't think about the, what, the, the aftermath, their families, everything. Um, I'll be right back. Just keep talking. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I mean, I've lost, I mean, we've all suffered losses. I lost my, my, my brother. My, my, my brother, I lost him years ago, and I was upset about that. And lucky for me, I didn't even know what suicide was, so. I was, um, I was great, um. It was, um, it's hard, though. How, when you think about it, when you think about everything that's happened in this world mm -hmm. and how it can go wrong, it's, it's never a good thing. Yeah. If you, 
if you think of the most disgusting, most tragic death or whatever yeah. on this planet, it's happened before. Like, it's just, and if you have any like suicide thoughts or anything like that, um, uh, well, most of the time, some people don't know how to do it properly. But if you actually search it up on uh, the internet, and how the, people uh, have done it, the um, the suicide hotline uh, phone number. That's the first thing that comes up, and I'll show you right here that it does give you an option to save your life. See, I'm right there. Yeah, I'll just see like, it. Right. I don't know if you guys can see that number. Um, one eight eight two seven three eight two five five. It's the first thing that shows up. So, um, it, it is actually uh, it's there for a reason. Yes. Now, but there like are, there, are, there are people, there are ways that we now the people. I've I've heard of ways that people have killed themselves and they just can't take it anymore. Like they'll take a knife and cut their wrist and just bleed to death, and it's. It's like, why would they put themselves through that? I don't know. And I happen, and there are people, YouTubers, who have actually made comics, and that that are that that show uh, that have made videos of, or comics for kids to tell them how to stop this, and it's like never a good thing. One, three, be, be prepared, prepared for part two. two. And um, subscribe to me. And me, Bone Crusher Eight Nine. And as Best YouTuber out there, better than me. Or probably equal, but as we say, suicide is not a way out. And be prepared for Mark 2. Yes. With, with Bone Crusher. With Bone Crusher. And hang on with Connor. Till, till part 2. You, you tell me nice. And you rock. Every last one of you. Thank you for hanging out with Connor. Subscribe to me and Bone Crusher. Link in the description to his channel and my Twitter. Adios, amigos. Pre-prepare for part two. Adios, amigos, and amigos. Okay, See you guys.